up you guys it's gracie oh, welcome back to my youtube channel if you're new here nice to have you thanks for joining us if you're turning thanks for sticking around today's video is going to be oh, where am i going to college revealing that um if you don't know i'm currently a senior right now i'm about to graduate i think our graduation date is june 11th so just a couple months and i'll be graduating um but yeah over the last couple of years i've kept every single piece of college mail that i have gotten so there's probably like 100 200 pieces in here just from everything i've kept um, i'm going to share with you guys a couple of the colleges um that are in here i'm going to share the colleges that i applied to the colleges that i considered and then lastly share the college that i am attending um so without further ado let's just get on into the video okay so let's first just address the obvious i look a little rough right now i just left my nephew's t-ball game where i'm the coach or a coach so i look a little rough because it was just exuberating um i could probably take a nap but i'm not but anywho let's just get on into this very huge and heavy drawer of mail so like i said it's a drawer and this whole drawer is like thick and it's just filled with college mail that I've gotten. As you can see, it is a butt ton of it that I've kept and we're about to go through. Okay, so I went through and organized all the mail by colleges and then I have a huge pile of stuff that has just been from random colleges that I didn't apply to. I'm not even sure how they got my mailing address, to be quite frankly. Um, and I could not even begin to count how many colleges somehow got my email and emailed me stuff on the daily. But as far as getting mail from colleges, this is the big old stack of stuff that I got from colleges. Um, my first piece of mail ever was this piece of mail right here. It was from Presbyterian College. Um, I remember it, I was like 10th grade or maybe reaching the end of my 10th grade year and got this. And I felt pretty excited as a student then. Um, so that's just a little for FYI for colleges. If you want to really draw people's attention, send it early. Anywho. Um, moving forward, I got stuff from Wofford, um, Roanoke College, never even heard of that, Wingate, Wingate, University of North Carolina, Pembroke, and the University of North Carolina, Charlotte, Gardner-Webb University, Catawba, Limestone, Johnson and Wells University, Western Carolina, Longwood University, Southern Wesleyan, University of South Carolina, Palmetto College, Chowin University, um, W and L, um, North Greenville University, Seton Hall University, University of Kentucky, Clemson, Peffer University, St. Andrews University, Converse College, um, Brevard College, Leonard and Ryan University, East Tennessee State. Lander sent a pretty hefty package, which I realized I didn't even open. Francis and Marion, University of South Carolina, Lancaster, University of South Carolina, Beaufort, Chowan University. And this is when it started getting weird, when I got stuff from the Marines. So, that is all stuff from random colleges that I didn't apply to, really had no association with. Um, it just never caught my eye, some of the stuff they sent. And these are some of the bigger packets that they got, that I got over the time, um, from colleges that I mentioned in that pile of stuff. So, now let's move on to colleges that I actually applied to, um, because I applied to quite, I didn't quite apply to a lot, um, but I applied to quite a few, um, compared to people that I do know who only applied to three or four. Okay, so moving forward, let's talk about the colleges that I actually applied to and had a little bit of a slight interest in maybe potentially going um, and stuff like that. Coastal Carolina, Lee University, Connor Charleston, Winthrop, Charleston Southern, Anderson, Liberty, and USC, Columbia. So those are the eight that I actually applied to and felt, you know, navigated to apply to. Uh, two of those were out of state and then the rest were in state, but some of them were private. Um, so starting out with Lee University, they sent me a good amount of mail considering I don't even think I paid an enrollment deposit or uh, sorry, an application fee or anything of that sort. Um, but yeah, they sent a pretty good stuff, pretty good amount of stuff. They also sent me a $5 Starbucks gift card, which I was like, excuse me. But yeah, um, yeah, so the reason I didn't go there or haven't really felt a pull to go there is because... I personally am a middle school education major, and um, when I first started researching, I just didn't, it didn't, I didn't find out a lot about their middle school education program. Um, I found out a lot about their elementary program, but I was like, I really want there to be a lot of confidence in the middle school education program, considering that's what I want to do. Um, I'm not saying that there wasn't one, but it just didn't feel like that as a student and someone um, that was looking into that program, as well as it was like a five hour drive from my house, and I was like, I don't know if I want to do that every time I want to come home. 
So that is why I didn't attend Lee University. The next college that I applied to, I'm just kind of going based off the stacks in my lap here. Um, the next college I applied to, but um, probably will not be attending is Anderson University. Anderson, again, sent me a lot of mail. They have really cute packaging um, for your acceptance letters. If you want something cute, apply there, I guess. Um, but yeah, it's just super cute. And they give you a little gold letter and they say you're, you're accepted and it's super cute. Um, oh, okay. But yeah, oh, I do not plan on going there. It's a private college as well, um, but it's about a three or three and a half hour trip from my house. And I just don't know if I want to take that trip either. Um, but also it's a private college, so it's going to cost a little more. And yeah, I just, I don't know if I was ready for that. Um, and yeah, so that's why I'm not going there. And also I know people who go there. And one thing I've always kept in mind about college is like, I'm taking my own path. You know, I don't have to follow someone. Um, and so yeah, that's kind of how I feel about Anderson. The next college that I applied to was Coastal Carolina. Um, Coastal Carolina is actually good at football, apparently. Surprise. No, I'm just kidding. But, again, I know people who go there. Um, I've heard it's a really big party school, which apparently, you know, I'm not that big on. Because when you find out my college, you'll probably say, oh, that's a big party school, whatever. But, yeah, Coastal Carolina is just not something I'm that pulled and drawn to. I did apply to it um, because it was definitely a possibility. But, yeah, they did send a good bit of mail. But... I just, it wasn't something that really I strongly desired. If you would have told me in seventh grade where I was going, I probably would have said Coastal Carolina just because of the color, to be really honest with you. The next college that I will not be attending, but I did apply to is Charleston Southern. They sent a, just a slight bit of mail, um, but this college, um, I actually know someone who goes there as well. I actually know like three people who go there, but it's just not something that um, I was really drawn to. I did, I did like it, and at first I had an instant reaction to it and wanted to apply, but as I've gotten farther in this process, it's about three and a half hours away. Um, it's a private college as well, and again, I just don't know if I was ready for that, and um, yeah, I just want to take my own path, so I chose not to go to Charleston Southern. Okay, so the next four colleges are colleges that I really had consideration about and were really like, maybe this, maybe that. And those four colleges are College of Charleston, Winthrop, Liberty, and USC Columbia. Um, let's start off with Liberty because that was kind of, when it got narrowed down, that was kind of the first one that I started was, you know, thinking like, nope, that one's not a no-go. That one's a no-go. So Liberty is not only a private college, but it's also an out-of-state college um, and about a five-hour drive as well. Um, and I really enjoyed um I would say this as a student, I think I really enjoyed the stigma around Liberty, but I think as I did more research and dug and started thinking about the practicality of it, of like it being out of state and my major, like I just, I didn't feel practical to go there, um, but they did send a good bit of mail. They also sent me a big old box um, that had like a t-shirt and just some other different letters and stuff in it, which it was really cute, um, but I throw that away because it was filled with confetti and stuff like that, but yeah. Um, I just chose not to go there just because I started realizing the practicality of it and all that good stuff. So, the next three colleges are very, were like very hard to choose between. They're all like, there was pros, there was cons, and I was just really struggling with this choice because, um, yeah, it's, college is a big decision. And for me, it was always like, you know, where you're picking is where your life, like that's, your life is going to change. Like. Let's say I went to college A. My life would be completely different if I went to college B, you know? Life can sometimes be different depending on where you go, and that's true for everybody. Um, I mean, your life can be completely different the day you wake up, um, and it can turn different ways. So th I had a lot of pressure at first going into the college decision, um, but one that I knew kind of off the bat, I was like, you know, I think this is too close to home. It's a really small college. It's good for my major, but I just wasn't really like, really drawn to it was Winthrop University. So they sent a good bit of mail as well. Um, I had toured Winthrop before. Um, I actually have a credit through Winthrop. Um, I took teacher cadet. Um, and so it was familiar with me, but I think when I toured it, um, it was a small college. It didn't have a lot to offer. There wasn't a lot of housing options and it just it wasn't something that screamed me I didn't feel you know, 
I didn't feel like that was my home or where I should be attending. Um, and again, it's really close to my house. I think personally, I was looking for something not too far, but not that close. Um, because I think, you know, getting outside your nest a little is good. And I just didn't feel like I would be getting out of my nest because literally it's about a 30 minute drive from my house. And depending on traffic, it can be less. So yeah, I just chose not to attend there um, because I was looking for something bigger and a little more, I guess, farther from my house. So the last two colleges that played really big and back and forth with was College of Charleston and USC. If you asked me in third grade where I was going to college, I would have told you USC. If you asked me any time from eighth grade to 11th grade, I would have told you College of Charleston um, because that is like those were huge colleges that I was really drawn to and attached to. My two of my best friends are going to the College of Charleston and I was like, wow, okay. So we can all be there and be best friends at College of Charleston. Um, but also USC was like, oh wow, that's really good. It's close to home. It's perfect. I knew someone was going there, but I didn't really know a lot of people. And I just kept going back and forth and back and forth with these colleges um, in my head. So I applied for a scholarship and I literally was like, you know, God, this has got to be it. Like, I'm confused. I don't know what I want to do. I know the process shouldn't be this confusing. I was like, God, wherever I get the scholarship from, like, out, like, just help me feel peace in going to that college. I see here. Um, for the scholarship, you actually had to submit like an institutional form. So you had to like rank the ch college colleges that you would like want to go to and it's not ever guaranteed that you'll get your first pick your second pick third pick like you might get your last one um but i think there was six colleges that you had to pick on the list and i think mine in order were usc winthrop college charleston coastal carolina anderson university and then charleston southern and in that order so i got the scholarship and um i got it for the co for college and i just i knew it from that moment on like that was where i was supposed to go um and I just felt comfortable with that decision. And if you're in the college picking season of life and you're confused and you're spiritual at all, or just if you, if you choose to believe that there is something greater than us out in the world, take this and have hope in it, okay? Thinking that we can pick a college and it be the wrong college and that ruin the rest of our life is something to, that's a little narcissistic for ourselves at times. Because it doesn't matter where we go or where we end up. If God has a husband set for us or if God has a job set for us, we're going to be at that job or we're going to meet with that husband. If God has a set of friends out there for us, we're going to meet those friends regardless if it's at a college or if it's at the mall. You know, we're going to meet these people. We're going to be, we're going to connect with these people. So don't think that just because you go to this college and not that college that your whole life is going to be destroyed and your whole life is ruined and you're not following God's plan because that's not where he wanted you to go. And I think that was the biggest advice that I've ever heard in my whole life. And I just saw it going through Instagram. Like, somebody had did Instagram chats and this girl said that advice. And I was like, wow, that is, like, so good. So, without further ado, um, I'm going to tell you the college I eliminated and why. And then I'm going to reveal where I'm actually going. So, the college that I eliminated was College of Charleston. Um, I mentioned before in the video that I wanted to take my own path and my own route. And two of my best friends going there, that obviously wasn't taking my own path and my own route. So I decided to go to the University of South Carolina, Columbia, the main campus, whatever. Um, and yeah, I toured the college. I liked it. I enjoyed it. Um, and it has just felt like home ever since I applied. Um, and I got the scholarship there. And so I just, I really felt peace in it. Um, and yeah, I'm super excited to be a cock, a game cock. Let me say game cock all the way fully. Um, yeah, so over the years, College of Charleston has sent me a good amount of mail uh, trying to draw me in there. Um, but yeah, I, like I said, I just decided to not go there and go to USC. Um, over the years, USC has, USC has not sent me that much mail, but it's a big college. But I also got a free shirt from them, so whoop whoop, you know, go Cox. Um, but yeah, I just decided to go to University of South Carolina. Um, they have my major, um, which College Charleston, a lot of colleges have my major, um, but I just, I felt the most peace in that, and it's about an hour from my house, um, so not that far away, and it's somewhere that is in the middle of the state, centrally located, so, you know, I can go see my friends that go to the College Charleston, I can go see my friends that are going, you know, such, such, such around, um, and also enjoy football, enjoy 
just living in a city and um, just the full experience of college. Um, maybe not the partying, but you know, the other full experiences of college. And I'm super excited to be a Gamecock. Um, I set aside when I was organizing the mail that I got from all these colleges, um, the little Gamecock towel that we got when we toured. Um, so yeah, it's super cute. Super excited to be a Gamecock. Um, I'll insert some footage now of me submitting my enrollment deposit and then submitting my housing application. All right, you guys, I'm about to submit my enrollment deposit. Um, have a little big step, you know. Um, this is like confirming that I'm going to be in the class. My spot. Um, make sure everything's signed that out correctly. I did it. Wait. Yeah. Did it. Mm -hmm. You yes, see, baby. Application. I just submitted it. I just submitted my application so yes I am a future Gamecock as of now officially I'm waiting for my housing um, application to be submitted and go through and hear back from them but I'm super excited and I'll see you guys in Columbia um, for next fall but I hope you guys enjoyed the video if you did give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you already have it because I'll definitely be posting college content moving in all that good stuff and I'll see you guys in the next video Bye.